All right, back again with some more Pokemon Scarlet. This time, we're going to be going on against the last Team Star crew member. That's going to be Ortega. And then after that, I'm going to either go down to the Pocopath Lighthouse to see what Arvin's up to, or if there's something that pops up after I beat Ortega. Uh, do want to keep in mind, after I beat uh, Rhyme over here in Montene uh, Montenevera. I journeyed upward north to unlock these two uh, Pokemon centers to fly to. And then, not even joking, I tried. I tried to battle Ortega beforehand, but there was a slight mis mishap. Uh, I forgot to <laughs> unmute my mic beforehand. So I had to close the game, delete that footage, and and now I have to restart this star barrage all over again. Our defenses are breached. It's all up to the boss now. I don't like that pink uh, skin on the Starmobile. I don't. I think I still prefer Gassiomo's and Atticus's Starmobiles a lot better than Ortega's. Huh, so you shadow. Okay. Talk about underwhelming. I was expecting someone, I don't know, a little more beefed up? Well, whatever. I don't care who you are. Not like I'm gonna lose to you anyway. If you think fairy types are all about cuteness, you're in for a nasty surprise. Challenged by Ortega. Is that a luxury ball? A zoomeral for oh. Uh Wait! <laughs> I was stupid! I sent out Claude Sire first, and I was worried about the ground typing being weak to water, but I just remembered Claude Sire's ability! <laughs> water absorb! Let's fucking go. I hit home! <laughs> My mind is in a different freaking place right now. Let's go! Poisoned. Aqua Tail! Water Absorb, bitch! Wiggly tough. Uh, keep Claude Sire out for right now. I think I might have a good idea. Oopsie. Did you just realize how out outmatched you are? If you want to give up, now's the time. No thanks. I have a good idea on what I'm doing. Let's go, Poison Jab! Uh, let's switch Pokemon and go to Armor Rouge because apparently they keep using Charm. Charm harshly lowers my physical attack stat. Armor Rouge is a special attacker. Doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. 
I just recently learned armor cannon. I want to see what it look what it does. Oh my god. Defense and special defense fell. Okay. Ow. Dash fun. I want to send out Claude Sire again. Look at this. Baby doll eyes. Oh, fuck. Does baby doll eyes lower my s attack stat by one stage or two? I think it's just by one, right? Charm, lo charm uh, harshly lowers it. Yeah, it's only by one. And if I terrestrialize, I become a poison type. So I want to save that until I get to uh, Rev of Room. And also I want to poison Rev of Room. Unless if it's part steel somehow. The heck? Why is my team on the ropes? That's totally not fair. Misty Surge? I forgot what. For five turns, Pokemon on the ground won't get any status conditions. Damage from dragon type moves is halved. Uh fuck. I gotta wait out the Misty Surge before I can use Toxic. Steel Roller? Oh, you idiot! Wow! That was a lot of damage. Lava Plume. Oh no. Magical Torque. I think Gyasiomo is the only one I didn't see the typing torque for. Because it was Blazing Torque for Mela, Noxious Torque for uh, Atticus. There was a. What was it? Physique Torque for Airy, and then there's Magical Torque for Ortega. Hey, uh, just, don't mind me, I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, use Toxic real quick. Please don't hit yourself. Okay. It doesn't af Wait, what? It says Fairy, unless if it's secretly supposed to be part of uh, Steel. Let me double check. Spin out. Okay. So, poison jab works, but Toctic doesn't for some reason? Ehole. Please 
Please snap out. Okay, snapped out of its confusion. Earthquake. And that's the end of all the Team Star bosses, minus the secret boss. Nice job, Claude Sire. Ugh. How could I lose? What the heck? A year and a half ago. Ugh. What the heck? Your toy car didn't budge an inch, huh? I told you it's not a toy. It's called the Starmobile, and I was up all night building it. The problem is clearly that we're not giving it enough juice. You designed this thing to be powered by two Char Cadet, but it's just too heavy. It's such a shame. I wanted to see the looks of our bully's face once we got it moving. I'm sorry. I really thought it would work. Come, good fellow. There's no occasion for melancholy. Why, to make such a remarkable contraption by thine own hand? Genius, thy name is Ortega. Yeah, well, there's no point if it doesn't work, is there? If I knew all that effort would have zero payout, I'd have just asked Mother to buy a car for us. See, this is why people don't take you seriously. You say some stupid things, you know that? What? Mela, cool it, would you? Yeah, how about no? I mean, we even put this in the code for crying out loud. When we started Team Star, we swore to quit relying on our parent. We swore to quit relying on our parents or bags of cash to fix our problems for us. Or did you forget? Hmm. If that hunk of junk doesn't move, get it moving. If we're short on juice, just gotta crank up the power somehow. Doesn't take a genius, man. That's easy enough to say, Melly. Do you have an actual plan? Yep. I'm gonna train up my Char Cadet and have him evolve. Their boosted firepower will get the Starmobile moving no sweat. But the hour of Operation Star is nigh at hand. Will you succeed in time? Oh, I'll get it done. Melly, wait! Oh, Lord. You know, Melly shoots her mouth an all, off an awful lot, but she means well. I know. Ugh, this sucks. This sucks. I hate myself for losing, but I also can't get over how awesome you were in that battle. If any of us squad bosses are defeated, that means we have to step down. And going against our code would make me a traitor to the team. Fine. Not like I have a choice anyway. So take the badge already. You'd better treat it with the respect it deserves. <sighs> That's the fifth and final Team Star base. What the hell? Surprised the shit out of me. Sup, Shadow? Director Clovel? Oh, come on. The, Cl the name's Clive, remember? Actually, no, it's time for me to bring this little performance to an end. Allow me to reveal my true identity. <laughs> ah. Yeah, I knew it the whole time. I figured it was Clovel. I do apologize for deceiving you with this with my disguise. <sighs> In truth, the boy you knew as Clive was none other than the director of Naranja Academy. Mr. Clavel. I already knew that. What? But my disguise was perfect! Although now that I think about it, I did neglect to keep up my youthful act on a few occasions. You did! Yes! That must have been what gave me away. That and the pompadour. No one wears pompadours these days. Regardless, there's still one more astonishing truth I must reveal to you. The true identity of Cassiopeia, the big boss of Team Star, was me all along. That's impossible. Honest to goodness! When you heard Cassiopeia over the phone, that was actually a pre-recorded voice. I pulled it off using, uh, you know, one of those high-tech gizmos. Oh yes, it was very clever. So, Master Shadow, now you know I'm the big boss. That means there's just one thing left to do. Face me in one final showdown to decide it all. Challenged by Director Clavel. What? 
Oranguru. Oh shit, Claw Sire is still first. Team Star. With this battle, I will finally bring Operation Starfall to an end. What is this music? Uh, hold up for a second. Real quick, I need to swap in freaking uh, Armor Rouge. Because I know for sure Colossar is going to get knocked out one hit from Psychic-type attack. Oh, hell no. Ah, fuck. Ooh. I think a special attack is higher than its physical, though. Wake up, dude. Oh, fuck. Uh, full restore. I'm putting my phone to the side. I am not getting distracted by this. What the fuck? Bitch! I woke the fuck up. I was asleep, but then I woke. <laughs> there goes the Ranguru. I need to pay attention to the name of the Pokemon he's in. Gyarados. Dragonite, you're up. <laughs> In a focus, bitch. Wow. Oh yeah, quadruple damage. <laughs> Obama Snow, so that is going to be a fire type move coming in. <laughs> I love it. Snow warning. At least it's not hail anymore. Lava plume. Quadruple damage. Let's go. Pulte Geist. So that's going to be coming in. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. So Gallade's going to be coming in. It's not going to be a stab boost, but he does get a boost of power because of the expert belt being uh, helping out with the super effective moves. Wow! That, and I forgot that his attack is off the chart. Houndoom. So for Houndoom, we're gonna be... Hmm. You know what? Let's go. I don't know if I should terrestrialize with Quackavel uh, because I don't know what his last Pokemon's gonna be, and I don't know what typing it would be when it terrestrializes. Now I know. Now I know. Okay. Final Pokemon's Miascorada. So he kept Spritagatito and uh, leveled it up. Got it, got it, got it. Okay. I mean, might as well get the stat boost with the Terrestrialize. Heh, 
to think that I, Cassiopeia, would be backed into a corner like this. I'm one of your best students! What do you expect from me? Now I see what everyone was talking about when they <laughs> when they were talking about Mia Scorada in uh, certain ways. <laughs> okay. Grass type. Don't count me out though. Fire type Gallade. Ha! Nice try. I'm trying to fix my headphones. Wow, one punch. Okay, Saitama, calm down. <laughs> and Gallade just leveled up. <sighs> How strong you have grown. Wow, 13,000? Damn. Penny? Shadow. Thanks for coming. Heh. <laughs> This, this must be quite a shock for you. The big boss, Cassiopeia, they were both me all along. The big boss, Cassiopeia, they were both me all along. When I saw you make quirk work of those Team Star lackeys outside school that time, the idea of opera for Operation Starfall suddenly came to me. My skills let me get hold of as much LP as I want, so I decided to use that to tempt you into helping me out. After the operation started, I kept an eye on you as a member of the Supply Unit and I had you battle the bosses on my behalf. All for the goal of defeating me and putting it into Team Star once and for all. But still, there's a part of me that wants Team Star to live on. I can't just roll over and let you win without putting up a fight. This is the final showdown. Are you ready? Okay, Europe, calm down. It's the final countdown. Clavel, sorry to keep you. The letter of apology, Miss Time, had me- er, I mean, preparation took longer than expected. That voice. Are you Clive? Penny. So it was you after- Ah, I mean, is that you, Cassiopeia? In the flesh? I have a task for you, Clive, if you'll accept it. I want you to record what happens next, so I can send the video to Team Star. They need to see the outcome of this battle for themselves. Okay, will do. Then allow me to introduce myself properly. I'm the big boss of Team Star. The name's Cassiopeia. No. Penny. Now, bow down before the overwhelming might of Team Star's founder. Penny of Team Star. Yo, this music, though. I won't hold back in this battle. I'll stay true to Team Star's code. Wow. What the heck did he just use? Oh boy. Jolteon? Okay, I need to switch to, uh... Oh, fuck. Okay, yeah, uh, Claude Sire.
Yo, there's freaking music though. Is my headphones boosted? Oh, they were boosted. I might need to use Toxic. Wow! Vaporeon? Actually, that works for me because of the water absorb ability. Hey, hey. Toxic. Alright, I'm gonna need to change uh, Pokemon in it right now. No, that's a bad one, actually. Hold up. Oh, Dragonite would be a bad idea because of the Aurora Beam being ice. That's gonna be quadruple damage. Come on, Gallied. Okay. Yeah. <gasps> wow. I keep forgetting Toxic gets more powerful each turn that passes. Flareon. I'm sorry, <laughs> this freaking music is a bop, dude. That and I'm trying to concentrate too. Uh, st still got three left. Let's go, uh, Aqua Step. Leafy on. Okay, so that's gonna have to be uh, Armor Rouge coming in. Let's go Lava Plume. Uh, last one is Sylveon. Mm. I mean, technically, the best one to send out for that would be, uh, Claude Sire, but... Oh, 
man. So we have terrestrialized fairy type Sylveon versus terrestrialized poison type Claude Sire. Shadow Ball. Oh lord, hold up. Okay, okay. I think I should. I, I'm good. I'm good. Now, nah, this is double damage. Uh, real quick, real quick, real quick. I would like to max out again. Crush you into Stardust. Moonblast. It's all over now. It is all over, Penny. Team Star is done. It's finally over, guys. It's done. And now her flashback. We're done here. I think we should call it quits. Hold up. Are you saying we should break up the team? You gotta be joking. We got carried away with Operation Star. Now everything's gotten out of hand. Yeah, well, that's what happens when you round up a bunch of bullies in the courtyard and make a show of learning them some manners. But we didn't even fight them in the end. We didn't do anything wrong. Indeed. Merely did we declare our intention to battle tooth and nail should the villains persist in their tyrannous op oppression. <sighs> Twas a bloodless victory, we assure you. Yeah, they didn't even send out their Pokemon. They just blubbered and apologized a whole lot. Our outfits must have spooked them good. But the bullies made a huge stink about what went down, and then they all ended up leaving the academy. Our plan backfired epically. There's no way we're getting off scot-free. I guess you're right. This little stunt might have put us up the creek. I'll fix this mess on my end. Just leave it to me. What are you saying? I'm the one who started Team Star. I dragged you all into this. So I'll take responsibility for everything. Oh, nope. Oh, noble and kind boss man. You cannot. Now that the bullies are gone, you guys should start going to school again. Oh yeah? And what about you? I can't go back. 
Why? There's no reason for you to stay shut in your room anymore, right? All I can say to you guys is thanks. Even though we never met in person, you were all so kind to me. Stop right there, BB! Why are you talking like we'll never speak again? I need to go take care of some things. Prithee, speak to us. What is thine intent? Mm. Hey, big boss, answer us! Bye bye, guys. Thanks for everything. Everyone, why don't you come on out? Is it all the bosses? Yes. Huh? Yo, big boss. Long time no see. Momo. More like long time no meet, right? I mean, we only found out your real name just now. Melly. Verily is thy long hidden countenance a sight for sore eyes, my lady. Atticus. So, um, I heard your real name's Penny? How have you been this whole time? Ordy. <laughs> I found you at last. You have no idea how worried we've been. Harry. Okay, gang, on the count of three. One, two. Alasta Vista, Cassiopeia. And hello, Penny. <laughs> oh.